There are many types of asexual reproduction that cells undergo, including binary fission, regeneration, and sporulation. But what exactly is sporulation? This is the question that will be answered in this educational video. Imagine this. A unicellular organism with a cell wall is in an environment that is unfavorable. For example, it may be too hot or too cold, or maybe it's even radioactive. The organism knows that it cannot survive like this, so what is there to do? Enter the process of sporulation. Sporulation begins very similarly to the other kinds of asexual reproduction, with the duplication of DNA. Then, within the cell wall, two new cells with membranes and DNA form after the first membrane closes in. This is where the process becomes unique. One of the two cells, which we will call the mother cell from now on, engulfs the other, which we will now call the spore. The spore is now entirely contained inside of the mother cell. Basically, we have a cell within a cell. At this point, the DNA within the mother cell begins to disintegrate, as it is no longer needed. As a result of this, only the spore is left with DNA. The cell membrane around the mother cell closes in around the spore, and chemicals synthesized between the two membranes to form the cortex, a protective layer for the spore. Now, the spore is released from the cell wall. The spore is now safe. It can withstand the previous extreme conditions like heat, cold, or radioactivity. Also, the spore can survive in the state for a very long time. This is due to the fact that all of the functions and activity within the spore happen 10 million times slower than they would in a normal cell. Anyway, this is sporulation in a nutshell. Thanks for watching!